everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a chilly day, but that wasn't too bad. I, I will take you outside, and in fact, I'll put that in right here. I've got a little video for you, and I'll let you see what I see. Nikki Gracie was asking about the weather here and if the trees have started to turn and so I thought I would just do a small video. I was going to take a picture, but I thought, well, maybe I'll do a video of the trees that are here. As you can see, there are some that are turning, but there's still a lot of green in the trees yet. They haven't turned. The pines will never turn. But there's still a lot of of green in the in the trees, and I also mentioned that our skies were kind of gray. They're not real pretty. There's a lot of clouds up there. There is some blue, but this is what it looks like. And the chickens are all kind of just right around the tree there. That's where they like to stay most of the day. There's Mr. Pretty Boy. Somebody else asked me if the other chickens ever have tails. Chickens have tails, but they're different than the roosters. My rooster, though, has lost his big plumage. But you can see Dorothy there and her little ones. There they come. And they have little tails. That's what a chicken tail looks like. The ones that kind of go up. There's Dorothy's tail. You can see how a chicken tail is supposed to look. And there's my other bird that doesn't know what kind of tail she wants. And there's Silver's tail. That's what a hen's tail is supposed to look like. There's Silver. She's a very pretty bird. And there's the other brown hen. It's got a really big fanning kind of tail. And the black one has the same kind of tail. That's what a hen's tail is supposed to look like not with the plumage on it. Little lady's right there. She's going with her, her twin. Little lady's the one with the lighter. And she's going to check what's going on. Oh, she's going to get a drink. So, as you can see, little lady is doing very well. My battery is dying, so I'm going to go in. But I hope you enjoyed this little walk around in the weather. This was for Gracie. Thank you, Gracie, for asking. I had questions about the weather and of Western New York, if the trees were turning, and so that's why I put this little video in. And also had questions about the tails on the hens, and that's why that's in there, too. And, um... I had also a question um, was asked to me, why doesn't Mr. Brown like his new cage? Well, I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't know why. I can put him, and the way I know he doesn't like it is when I put him up next to his old cage, he will hop right off my hand and hop right into his cage. When I put him up to go into his new cage, he starts walking up my arm instead of hopping off. He wants to, and he looks around, and it's like, um, do you really have to put me in this spot? I really don't want to be in here. I also, today, when I went out, to, well, I didn't go out to the mail, but Jim went out to the mail. And I got my seeds from Rusty, the Ozark Duke, and I will open it up. What kind of seeds did oh, you get? I, yeah, I had written... I had, well, actually I sent Rusty, I've got a card here, and it's got a sticker on the back. Um, I had emailed Rusty and said that I would like some sunflower seeds. He's got these gorgeous sunflower flowers that were huge. They're, they're, they're really, 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 really big. And he um, wanted to share some of the seeds. If you sent him an email, you could get some of the seeds. So I sent him an email saying that I'd like some of the seeds because I'm going to plant them on my compost pile. They'll be on the richest dirt in town. <laughs> and so they mm -hmm. should do really well. 
my I like the seeds and my chickens like the seeds so this will be great but I'll show you he's got, he's got a card in there too look at this card how cute beautiful birds I'll take the glare off there the glare is off <laughs> <laughs> and it says that um, I'll open it up he's got really fancy writing really fancy oh my goodness thank you for being a friend I think is what it says. It's really fancy writing. Wow. Rusty, you've got really fancy writing. Um, I, w I bet you he could do calligraphy really easily. Do the fancy, fancy stuff. And I'll show you the package of seeds. He packaged them up. And their sunflower seeds are in here. There's quite a few. My goodness, there's quite a few. I will put these what you know when you when you get seeds to keep them so that they don't get bad on you. What you do is you put them in in your crisper in your refrigerator and it keeps them good. And then when you go to plant them, they're, they're ready. And this way they don't dry out. I I add them. I put them in another bag so that there's the moisture because like I've got a frost-free kind of refrigerator and I don't want the moisture to be drawn out. So I will put it in another. I'll put the the little seed packets in another Ziploc bag so that it's double sealed, kind of like. So it will stay fresh. Thank you, Rusty. I really, 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 really am glad I got these seeds. I'm going to enjoy growing the sunflowers. Thank you very much. It was very kind of you. Thank you again. Um, I had lots of thoughts on my mind today. And I said to Jim, I says, you know, I had lots of thoughts, but I can't remember a single one now, and I should really write them down. And he says, yeah, you say that all the time, which I do. I say I should have written it down. But, you know, when it's happening, or when I'm thinking, and I'm thinking, oh, Nah, that's not really that. Everybody knows that. Or everybody does that. Or, you know, it's nothing new. And so I just kind of, like, gone out of my brain. And and uh, sometimes it might be something that somebody might want to hear. I don't know. So, you know, because you always think that the grass always, like when you're on vacation. Let's go to vacation. Let's all go on a vacation. <laughs> I know. When you're on vacation, you think everybody's life is wonderful wherever you're traveling to. No, their their life is every day ordinary too. It's like when you're sitting on the side of the fence and the grass on the other side of the fence is always greener. Well, that's the way it feels like when you go on vacation too. So like my life may look like it's exciting to you, but it's not to me because <laughs> it's my everyday life. It's something that I live with all the time. And it's the same old, same old. Like I get up in the morning and I take care of the chickens and I feed the dog and I get Mr. Brown out. Now that's the only thing that's kind of newish is getting Mr. Brown out. And then I sit in my chair and I, and he's learned a new trick. He really has. And I, I have a little red cap with the, I've been using chicken scratch instead of the mealworms. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the cup under his nose or beak and he pecks it. Then I bring it back and I put it under my arm and he'll tap on the, he'll tap on the wood. Like I was tapping on the wood to tell him to get back up there. I don't have to do that anymore. I just sit in the chair and he hops up on the wood and then he taps. And when he taps it, I bring the cup back and he can eat a little more and then I bring it back and... It, and then he will tap on the wood again and say, bring that back. It's like, it's like pushing a magic button. If I tap on the wood, that cup comes back, and then the cup goes away, and then the cup comes back. It's like a little game that he plays. And he's got a special spot on the, on the board that he taps. Because if he's on that, standing on it, he could tap over here, but he doesn't. He moves over, and then he taps on that same spot. So it's, a, it's, it's like a special spot. I should probably put a bullseye there or something. But he <laughs> seems to know where the spot is. He taps on that side only. 
Well, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So, bye-bye.